Greening Australia began as an organisation which was very much people based, it was very much a grassroots organisation uh, and it was started in the times when environmental issues were just starting to come to the fore. Its strength has been uh, the diversity of people involved from uh, backgrounds from the corporate sector right through to the, you know, to the real green side of it. The evolution of the organisation has been very interesting going from the sort of the garden state that was very much sort of horticulture in the suburbs or in the city but even then the, the seeds were sown at the value of trees and the value of green in the landscape. Our first programs were called uh, the Australian Year of the Tree, uh, Tree Projects, uh, not quite hug a tree but certainly plant a tree. And we developed a capacity over the years to say well, just okay well how, how do you plant trees? Oh first thing, you've got to find some seed and you've got to grow the seed You've got to get the thing established, then you've got to get it into some sort of a package or container where you can take it to some other location and get it in the ground and water it and keep it alive. So whether it was a neighbourhood creek in metropolitan Melbourne or whether it was a farming project in South Australia or Western Australia, we could actually see things happening and, and a difference being made. Greening Australia has now come of age and we've got a really good understanding and lots of experience. We've, you know, cycled through a few droughts. We know how to manage a whole range of things. We've seen changes of governments and we've seen changes in landscapes. We have become more sophisticated. It's not just about trees, it's about vegetation as a whole, it's vegetation and wildlife, and it's no longer just about small-scale projects. Now we're thinking way beyond that small patch size that we worked on there to plant those trees to a landscape size, so that now we're thinking about how we can transform landscapes.